going to history, we're going to colonialism. Our screams were collected into bottles of schnapps to belly full our cheeks into psychological destruction. <laughs> During their drunken stupor, stories were told that even the foodless child knew that the light of civilization was gone from Africa. At the time, the world was drenched in darkness until the old pages of history faded our stories into oceans of deceptive and perceptive nature where our achievements were characterized as weather. Uh, and thus, we never at any slide in history contribute to the human race. The voices of our people got lost amongst the tumult of voices echoed from the whip of slave masters. Our beautiful women with dangling rhythms of their backsides and the slightest movements of their bodies got a white man attracted and so their pride was arrested, puzzled and shifted away into a new life of death, then saw the birth of mulattoes. From east to west, from north to south, a breeze gathered to wake a country from the slumber of colonialism into a realm of freedom. Then our young cried further to wake a new nation, Ghana. Surprisingly, the crow of Indewood and Jacques Cock never sounded as usual in our ears, but rather a heavy storm from the voice of Nkurma saying, Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. Multitudes down sang and wind away their worries into sleep when Dr. Ephraim Amok brought out his attempt to blow some good melodies to greet the arrival of a new nation, Ghana. <laughs> this is spitefully behold to sing from the depth of his heart a song with God tears rolling down the cheek onto our land to nurture our agriculture to become a backbone when Tetequashi came out to show to the new nation a seed of life hidden in Coco. What men can do? Women can do too. And there came Miss Field with a flower covered in red, gold, green, with the black stars rising into the sky to flatter serenely from lampposts to the glory of the host. God bless our homeland. <laughs> on that day of freedom, on that day of freedom, fabrics of Ghanaian societies intertwined to form loops of a united people submerged in Kente and smoke together devoid of tribalism. <laughs> we bade the white men and women farewell as they took bag and baggage, kit and came from a land of raw gold and rooted a world of splendor built from our sweat. But throughout all these years, we may want to search into areas that saw their white garments to purge our nation of all stains to rebuild her focus towards economic liberation. Our systems may have some challenges, but our passion and determination will clear the path to our destiny for salvation. Let's not give up on the Ghanaian dream. Let's keep pushing the wind of destiny. As the wind of a new era blows against our infant dreams and drags us through the pain of toughness as we rebuild our nation, we must know that our survival will only be assured by the consolidation of our dreams in our past while acting on them today. Songs of our infant voices, as shrill and thin as they may sound, must not be used in throwing tantrums for sorrow to give in to despair. Our green perception must not halt our quest to unlocking our national potentials to overflow joyousness into the very recesses of our nearest election towards a better tomorrow. It is okay to be different. Even nature agrees we all can be equal. The differences nature created are for a joint effort towards progress. Therefore, if our nation must see the face of prosperity, our differences must be in common measure. Thank you.